In tonight's showbiz report, this weekend marked the return of the Palm Springs Comic Con at the Hard Rock Hotel. One of the guest speakers was comic book historian Arlen Schumer, who was there to mark the milestones of two comic book legends, artist Neil Adams, who's celebrating 50 years in the business, and the 100th birthday of Jack Kirby. KMIR News video journalist Steve Sumrall has the report. Neil Adams brought a truly three-dimensional realism to flat comic art. Now, you look at the superhero movies, special effects movies, it's all about making the worlds of fantasy realistic in film. Well, all of those filmmakers were teenagers or younger reading Neil Adams' superhero comics and seeing how real the world of fantasy can look and be. So before George Lucas and James Cameron and Spielberg, before all those guys were doing it in film, Neil Adams was doing it on a two-dimensional printed page. And he even has a great quote that if superheroes really existed, they'd, they would have to look like the way he drew them. And if you look at these four images, you'll see a realism to these superheroes in their emotions and their expressions that nobody drew superheroes like this before. Jack Kirby is probably the single greatest superhero artist, and he defined what we would call the superhero style, which is fighting, dynamic energy, motion, impact. And nobody did that better than Jack Kirby. So when he went to Marvel Comics in the early 60s and proceeded to rejuvenate it, because it was on its last legs when he got there in 1959, starting with the Fantastic Four, and then the panoply of heroes he created are all the superheroes they're making movies and TV shows out of today. We would not even be here. There would be no comic conventions right now if it probably wasn't for what Jack Kirby did in the Silver Age, the 1960s. And that was Steve Summerall reporting.